How is everybody? This next poem is My Father in Heaven is Reading Out Loud by Lee Young Lee. This might be Lai Young Lee. It's either Lee Young Lee or Lai Young Lee. Alrighty. Lai Young Lee. I'm going to go with Lai Young Lee because of the, the spelling. They just decided to spell Lee two different ways. So I'm going to go with Lai Young Lee. Born 1959, was born in Indonesia to Chinese parents. His father taught medicine and philosophy in Jakarta during a purge of ethnic Chinese. Lee's father was imprisoned because of his Western interests. Whoa, that's interesting. This is my father in heaven is reading out loud. My father in heaven is reading out loud to himself psalms or news. Now he ponders what he reads. No, he is listening for the sound of children in the yard. Was that laughing or crying? So much depends on the answer for either he will go on reading or he'll run to save a child's day from grief. As it is in heaven, so it was on earth because my father walked the earth with a grave, determined rhythm. My shoulders ached from his gaze. Because my father's shoulders ached from pulling of oars, my life now moves with a powerful back and forth rhythm. Nostalgia, speculation, because he made me recite a book a month. I forgot everything as soon as I read it. And knowledge never comes but while I'm mid stride a flight of stairs or lost a moment on some avenue, a remarkable disappointment to him. I am like anyone who arrives late in the millennium and is unable to stay to the end of days. The world's beginnings are obscure to me, its outcomes inaccessible. I don't understand the source of starlight or starlight's destinations, and already another year slides out of balance, but I don't disparage. Scholars, my father was one and I loved him, who packed his books once. and all of our belongings, then sat down to await instruction from his God. Yes, but also from a radio. At the doorway, I watched, and I suddenly knew he was one like me, who got my learning under a lintel. He was one of the powerless, to whom knowledge came while he sat among suitcases, boxes, old newspapers, string. He did not decide peace or war, home or exile, escape by land or escape by sea. He waited merely, as always someone waits, far, near, here, hereafter, to find out, is it praise or laminate hidden in the next moment? The end. Written in 1990. Okay, so, I don't know. I got no thoughts on this one. I, yeah. Give me a second here. Let me think. Hmm. I mean, he had, there was a, this a story about an anxious father, somebody who's kind of lives in fear a little bit, whether it's about whether, how his kids are doing or what's going to happen next. I'm not sure. You guys tell me what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys later. Hit me up, Reddit, Twitch, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, all those places. I'm Clouded Jester. See you guys later.